most of the time is even uh, uh, I guess uh, I will usually just write on the board but uh, sometimes I will use slides so since we were using slides uh, last time so we will uh, continue it takes a few seconds to uh, warm up so last time I was uh, introducing what this uh, course is uh, about and uh, um, I was mentioning that uh, at this course uh, we look at um, different methods for achieving high reliability in computational systems and we want to look at hardware, software and media so we'll uh, look at uh, uh, things at different uh, levels and um, and we want to look at uh, testing, we want to look at reliability, we want to look at fault tolerance and we want to see how these uh, come together. Uh, there is no uh, textbook but uh, some of the class notes, the slides, uh, they will be uh, available eventually. Uh, incidentally, I think these slides uh, are available. So if you have, a ch if you will check uh, uh, RAM CT, so they are available on uh, RAM CT. And uh, I will also use RAM CT for um, uh, collecting some of the submissions and for uh, some of the quizzes. And uh, uh, RAM CT, I will also use it for uh, grades. So we will uh, continue uh, with uh, what we were uh, doing uh, last time. Last time I was uh, pointing out that uh, fault tolerance uh, today is uh, widely uh, applied and uh, 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 it is used in uh, uh, applications uh, which are highly critical as well as common everyday applications and uh, uh, I was mentioning about these two terms so you have uh, defects so defects are basically uh, physical things and defects give rise to errors and errors are basically in information. So let us say if you have a hardware defect, then uh, because of a hardware defect, some of the bits of information would be incorrect, and those would be errors. Similarly, if a software is under execution, and if you have some bad code, so defects in the code are defects but the errors produced by the bad code are errors and when the errors propagate to outside of the system where they can be seen from outside we uh, would uh, refer to them as failures uh, basically in the application sometimes you could have an error within a system um, however, the error sometimes is contained uh, because of some uh, fault tolerant mechanism and in that case error uh, does not reach outside and we can uh, say that error uh, has not caused a failure. So you can have latent errors. Errors are there inside but have not caused a, a failure. You can have some defects which have not caused an error because the defects have not been exercised. Okay, let's see here.
So we were uh, talking about this uh, last time. And, uh, and I was uh, mentioning about uh, this, um, that uh, sometimes you can have a perfectly good things that we are out with age. And on the other hand, you can have uh, some uh, causes of errors that are because of wrong specifications. So at some levels, a um, lot of the fault is uh, because of the people, and some of the things are basically because of the nature of things. Things simply uh, get old and start wearing out with uh, time. And I was last time I was men mentioning about uh, fault uh, taxonomies. Uh, faults can be uh, classified based on the cause, how they arise, there's process software or other things and whether it's a temporary or a permanent fault. Later on, when we will look at reliability analysis, you will see that we will have to do the analysis for temporary and permanent faults uh, differently. And uh, I was mentioning about uh, the fact that uh, these days, uh, even uh, ordinary applications need to be highly reliable and some of the ordinary things would not work unless you have some fault tolerance like in the internet or how information is recorded on CDs. But of course there are other that are more critical applications or high availability systems, long life missions where you need high uh, reliability. And uh, um, we are going to talk about uh, testing and uh, we are going to talk about testing in hardware. So hardware is going to be our example, even though many of the uh, concepts, are, they are applicable to software as well. A lot of times we will uh, only consider the problem of fault detection. Is the device good or bad? But sometimes we may be interested in finding out where particularly the fault is in which device, in which chip, and what kind of fault it is. And uh, um, if there is a fault, what can you do about it? Sometimes you can contain the effect of the fault, or sometimes you can go back to the right uh, operation. So this is where we were last time. So I was mentioning about uh, failure rate. and. Uh, um, Failure rate and mean time to failure, and I was mentioning about the relationship between the two. And uh, this is probably the most uh, popular uh, uh, measure. But as normally people ask, okay, I'm uh, buying this uh, microwave or car, or maybe you're talking about the hard disk. What is the expected time that it is going to last? And that is uh, the technical term for that is mean time to failure. And later on, we will see what do we mean by mean, of course, is expected. But we will see a formal definition of this later on. And uh, last time I had mentioned about uh, uh, the failure rate. And here, if you have, uh, let us say, uh, a thousand units, and three of them fail in two hours, then the failure rate is equal to three of them fail. So 1,000 hours. And we had uh, 1,000 units for two hours. And that is equal to 1.5 multiplied by 10 raised to minus 3 per hour. Remember, you have to have the right uh, units. And mean time to failure is uh, usually given by inverse of the failure rate. Now we are going to see a, a formal uh, a treatment of this later on. We will uh, look at uh, a reliability evaluation. And in this case, the failure rate is going to be 1 by 1.5. The MTTF is going to be 1 divided by 
multiplied by cabbage to minus 3. And that is equal to, let's see how much is that? How much is so 1 divided by uh, 1.5 plus slightly less than 1? 0.66. But carries to three, so that's slightly less than one, so something like uh, two thirds. And uh, but remember, this is a uh, thousand uh, hours. So this would be this would have a mean time to failure of uh, less than a thousand hours. Reliable and look at these two terms: reliability versus availability. And these two terms we'll uh, later define uh, more formally. Reliability is a, a kind of a strict measure. We say a rel reliability is the probability that a certain system will work correctly between uh, the time zero and time sometime t. There should be an eraser somewhere here. And there it is. Oh, I see we have uh, another blackboard there. So we can use that too. Oh, but then they put it to work for the. That's fine, board. I can go there. Are you, are you sure? Yes, sir. Okay, maybe I'll try that. So we have uh, reliability. The reliability is the probability that a unit will work correctly from some uh, time 0 to some time t. So let's say this is 0 and this is t, and this is time. So probability that uh, it works correctly all the time between uh, 0 and t. Whereas uh, the other the measure availability, How many of you have come across the term availability? It, it is a, a rather popular term. And availability is a good measure when you want to uh, talk about whether a system is working currently now or not. Or you can talk about availability of 85%. That means 85% of the time the system is available, it is working. So availability basically, so here, if you attack, if here is some time t, Availability is the probability that the system is working at time t. So you don't care about whether it was working before or not. So in systems where you expect occasional downtime, for example, in most uh, computer systems, you expect that occasionally they would be down. Availability is a better measure uh, of. Uh, uh, reliability rather than this term reliability itself which has a rather uh, strict uh, definition. Later on we will uh, take a look at the formal definition of uh, this term. Okay, uh, dependability. This is a new term. Uh, sometimes people want to generalize uh, uh, what they are talking about, sometimes they want to talk about uh, a combination of things. So they uh, use a general term dependability. And dependability could include reliability, availability, it could even include uh, uh, security. So rather a general uh, term. Safety is an uh, attribute of a system which either corrects, works correctly or has failed in a safe manner. 